All right, boys and girls, today is the day. Check it out. We are at 280 citizens. All we need is 20 more babbies, and we're there. So close. I, I mean, I can just smell it, you know. I'm, I'm kind of hoping we get another 30 nomads showing up, but looking at our production, we're a bit behind, but not much, and we have like 4,000-ish food. I'm hopeful that um, basically by building this out over here, we'll be able to shore that up a bit and give us that last little bit we need. So I'm going to go ahead and whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and prioritize this and what priority? Just, just all of it. Yeah. And see if we can get that done ASAP. Now, other than that, I'm kind of looking around trying to see if there's another spot I can put in, say, a gathering node. And, mm, I mean, like, really far up here or over here, sure. This one's a little bit uh, too small and weirdly shaped, as is this one. So, my guess is we're just going to have to... Uh, Kind of race for it and see what happens. I'm, I'm hopeful that it seems like we have just enough food. I think we can maybe outrun this famine just long enough to hit our 300 mark. And once we hit that, we can start building traders. Or there's all kinds of stuff we can do, like schools. And all those things are going to really improve our efficiency, the ability to make tools, all kinds of stuff. So... Um, you know, cross your fingers, and we're going for it. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Uh, watching the food reserves, they're, they're holding fairly steady. I mean, they're going down, but hopefully, like, we get a whole bunch of births and, and all that. So, let's see, reserve of stone is low. I don't think there's much we can do about that, unfortunately. Just kind of hope that... Yeah, they're, they're, they're getting there. They're starting to fill this up. So, I'm hopeful that this fishing dock will actually really help things out. So, and just keeping track on, it's slowly, slowly getting away from us, um, which I expected. <laughs> I, I figured that was going to happen, uh, especially as we're getting so close, you know, ooh, 284, even closer. So... I think if we can get some extra houses going, just, you know, get people excited about having kids, and we'll be there. So, of course, ooh, ew, why is that, ah, uh, I swear, I swear. Okay, we're building up a big log supply, but not a stored firewood supply. So, let's pause a sec. We need way more woodcutters. Just a, a ton more. Because any free... The, those people freezing to death, it's, it's going to like cost us. Uh, we're in race against time. And we can't afford to have people slacking off, freezing to death. <laughs> uh, yeah, those lazy people freezing to death. Well, just, you know, do some push-ups. It'll warm you up. Um, I laugh, but I've actually been in a situation where we got... It was some pretty bad, it was a bad situation. I, um, uh, essentially, uh, we were, it was a Boy Scout camp retreat. We were out at, uh, not Gettysburg, what was it called? Uh, the Lusty Battlefield. And we were there for a jamboree slash Civil War reenactment. So, um, I wonder... I can't quite fit two in there. Hmm, this is an awkward building. It doesn't quite fit the way I, I wish it did in places. But I need a bunch of them. I, I'm thinking... Well, let's let's double check. Let's see. I think you can look up firewood here. I'll, I'll get back to our story in a sec. Fuel. Um, so it says we're producing more than we're using, so I'm very confused about why there are homes like this. Um, I think part of the problem is we, we need more vendors to kind of distribute stuff evenly. Let's see what these production, uh, 216, what are you making? 185, how about you? So, aiming for like the 200 mark, maybe a little more. 
Yeah, it seems it seems that uh, there might be a logistics problem with it. Just they're not getting the, the like the homes aren't able to get to the market to fill up on firewood because we should have enough fuel. It's kind of I mean we got seven storage. Well, let's try upping our vendor count. Uh, I mean we have all these extra labors, so why not? see oh you can actually crank this up I didn't know that oh you can get nuts with it you can go up to 25 um let's do it why not I mean the laborers could help picking up stone but if they can evenly distribute our firewood around here and if we have some extra people working on firewood I think that'll be a good idea so and let's uh, let's do this. It could also be that oh they haven't finished these houses either. I swear I'm always low on stone, and it's frustrating because you would think that okay, so I built uh, a quarry. You think one quarry would be able to give you loads of stone? It, it's such you take such a hit from the quarry over time because not only does it end up kind of eventually it goes away. It uses up, it's the biggest building in the game. I mean, it's it's such a penalty. You would think it would at least allow me to at least, at least upgrade my houses, you know? And it's like, stone is just so hard to get. Anyway, that's me kind of being a whiner, but <laughs> I just, I get frustrated by it, you know? It's like, anyway, just to help this along, I'm going to add in even another woodcutter. I feel like we're getting kind of ridiculous on the firewood, but, well, the whole situation is just kind of, it annoys me a little bit, you know? It's like, why should my town ever struggle for firewood? It just seems silly. So, anyway, yeah, we are at the Alesti Battlefield for a Civil War reenactment. Yeah, this is what, um... <laughs> Florida, Florida Boy Scouts do. We, we go to a Civil War reenactments uh, and all that jazz. There's actually um, the, you know, people make a big stink about uh, the Confederate flag over in um, South Carolina. And don't get me wrong, like, it, for many reasons, I think it is more of a symbol of oppression than anything else. But they forget that so many Southern state flags are based off of the the stars and bars like the state flag of florida it has the the great seal of the state of florida with a uh little red kind of x behind it and that red x behind it refers to when it was uh when it had succeeded from the union so <laughs> you, you know it's like maybe maybe all the flags need, need to be changed not just um the one states but uh it's neither here nor there i guess the um but anyway, so yeah, we're, we're out in Olusti, and normally Florida during the winter doesn't really drop below 50 degrees. Yeah, it, it got down to uh, like five below or something ridiculous. And we were out camping in light sleeping bags and like windbreakers. And, you know, I, I got really, really cold that night, like unable to stop shivering cold. And... What I ended up doing was, like, I tried to start a fire, but I couldn't in the dark because my flashlight was garbage. So, like, you know, eventually someone heard me, like, stumbling around, one of my friends, and he's like, oh, dude, I'm freezing too. So, like, we ended up waking everybody up and just, like, dogpiling together to, like, stay warm. But, oh, good, they're building this house. But, yeah, it turns out, like, it, it had dropped down to... Uh, like five below that night and the reason I couldn't stop shivering was I had entered the first stage of hypothermia uh, and that's it's not the closest I've been to death but <laughs> it, it was it was a pretty gnarly situation all told I, I mean it I I've been cold like that since that time uh, largely because it was when I moved to Nebraska and I was an idiot walking around in like a long sleeve t-shirt when it's minus 20 out that I, I yeah I nearly froze to death uh, walking between my dorm to my classroom because I like an idiot 
just was not wearing the right clothing for um, a wind chill factor of 20 below. So there you go. Uh, usually people, like when they freeze to death, I feel like it's a combination of factors, but usually stupidity plays a major part in it. Um, I would know. I've been there. <laughs> so let's see, our food is dropping fast. So huzzah. Um, we're still struggling to get enough woodcutters. Can you up this? No, it's just one of one. I don't know. It's weird. But maybe with the extra vendors, I'll help the food situation a bit. I, I don't know. I don't know. It, it's a race against time. How close are we, anyway? Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Two more people. Two more, and we get our achievements. Come on, guys. Breed. Breed, you stupids. <laughs> uh, and we're, we're not too far behind, but, I mean, yeah, this is getting eaten, eaten up really fast. Come on. One more. One more. Achievement get. Boom. <laughs> Look at that. Three at once. Let's let's pause it and uh, bask in our glorious victory there. Whew. I was, I was getting a little nervous about it, to be honest. I was a little bit... Uh, perturbed by but the constant like well look at this painful painful like step function right here boom 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 finally finally we make it oh yeah <laughs> that that i feel like we earned that legit i mean that's that's awesome um yeah let's go let's take a little little pause break and look at what we've gotten so settlement excellent Uneducated, reach a population. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> reach a population of three hundred happy citizens uh, without building schools. Boom, done. Now we can build schools, which is amazing because they're going literally schools. It's like twenty percent better workers. So I think that'll fix a lot of our food issues, and, and in general, just really, really improve our production. So awesome. We can start building schools. We no longer have to worry about. You know, and we can actually start working towards educated. So that that was a good one. Let's see. We also got isolationists. Boom. We can start building trading posts now, which I'm going to uh, ramp up like immediately. Uh, that way we can actually trade stuff for food, which is amazing. And food and stone. Like honestly, man, I need stone. It's crazy. Uh, let's see. Uh, and then we can start working on trader and all that. Uh, master trader is going to be that's that's a tough one actually um, but it's cumulative and it doesn't have a time limit so it's just a matter of time which is is nice uh, let's see this one uh, should be we should be able to do that it's it's not too bad um, the 500 ale is fine once you get farms um, Steel tools hurts a bit because, I mean, that's a lot of tools that could go towards your citizens, but, you know, it, it's doable. Uh, the warm coats, that's going to be our main training good. No problem getting that, so huzzah. Let's see, built, uh, whatever. What was the next one? Smiles, oh, we, we unlocked this in our um, last town, uh, Runny Mead, as everybody was dying. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh. It was horrible. It was a horrible time, but... Yeah, people were super happy, even though they're all, you know, not in a good way. So, what was, oh, oh, was that all of them? Isolationist? Yep, yeah, that's all of them in settlement. Awesome, 11% complete. Very nice. Uh, there, there are a few things I want to build immediately. Um, first and foremost, we go to town services, schools. Uh, these are going to help dramatically. Like, you... You were probably kind of doubtful, like I was at first when I first started playing this. I'm like, Psh, what, what, would a, what would a school possibly do for the town? It, they're really, really good, and you should always, always have them. So um, I'm, I'm glad, I'm very glad we'll be able to put one in now. So I'm also going to unpause those traders ASAP um, and reprioritize like the school and getting the, the traders done. So. I kind of, I, I screwed up a little bit, like, over here, because I do want, I'm going to have to remove these houses, all of them, and put in trader, a trader here and a trader here, I think, because I looked along our stretch of, you know, look, look, everything is, like, diagonal. There's almost no spot for a trader along this river, except, like, way over here and maybe in here. 
um, which is not a great situation. Uh, you kind of need a lot of traders in general, um, especially on maps like where we're still going for the, what was it, one with nature achievement, which, well, let me double check that one. Just to show you, it's, it's like down here. 400 citizens without building crop fields, orchards, or pastures. So we can't farm until we hit 400. Uh, gonna be a little bit tricky, but with some traders in operation, not as tricky. So, because with traders, you can start trading for food. I'm probably, like, honestly, the best thing to do would be to trade firewood for it, but we're so far behind on it, I, I don't know. It's, I think what I need is to just, like, have, like, a whole like an alley over here just dedicated of no, basically like this set just like this setup where you know there's like a little stockpile two homes and um these guys uh the the what are they uh, woodcutters uh, just do like three of those or something just to really get ahead on it because man we're, we're just we're we are hurting we are hurting right now for some of that delicious delicious um stuff <laughs> that firewood